This patient has suffered multiple strokes five weeks ago. His arm and hand function has already drastically improved. But as one can see in the video, the speed with which he can move his left arm is very slow. The lack of fine motor skill makes it nearly impossible to use the uh, hand in activities of daily life. In this mirror therapy session, he's given specific tasks, like putting the jars, which are empty, but can also be filled with different weights if you can handle it, on top of each other. The exercises you can see in this video are taken from the program of impairment-oriented therapy, which is designed to improve specific functions of the hand. This type of treatment has been proven to be highly effective in improving hand function after stroke. Here you can see the patient turning over metal discs of varying diameters, which can be made bigger or smaller depending on how much hand function the patient already has. The exercises are supposed to be challenging, but achievable. Impairment-oriented therapy also puts precision first and speed comes second. After all, what good is a hand in daily life, which is fast but always misses the target? In this exercise, the patient is instructed to tap the thumb, the forefinger and the middle finger three times on the table. Here we can see the drastic improvement in speed and accuracy the patient has made after just 20 minutes of mirror therapy. He's also able to release the jaws much faster. Since motor learning depends a lot on the amount of exercise that the patient is doing, he's also instructed to do the same exercises with and without a mirror at home. Here you can see that his fine motor skill is still lacking. But this shows that hand function depends on a lot of different functions which have to be treated and assessed individually. This is the patient the next day. As you can see, the results from the day before have carried over. So learning has already taken place in his brain. You can also see during this session that the speed behind the mirror has improved. Patients can do mirror therapy also without any special equipment. You can also just use your hands, try at different positions, see how it feels. Keep in mind that this form of therapy depends on learning. This means it should be challenging, not boring. You should concentrate on what you're doing and you should do a lot of it. If you can concentrate for more than five minutes in the beginning, that's okay. Then try to repeat those five minutes several times over the day. If you have a bigger mirror, you can also use it to improve arm function as a whole. Arm function sometimes isn't affected and it's only the hand. But if arm function is lacking, then you need to train it as well because after all the arm gets the hand to where it needs to be. As you can see there are people moving in the background and the patient is still able to concentrate on the mirror image of his hand and his arm. If the patient should lose focus and become distracted, it would be advisable to, to do the therapy in a quieter environment. If there are any questions, Leave me a comment.